Hey guys, so I have another Etsy sticker haul to share with you today. I have a bunch of Christmas stuff, New Year's stuff. I have some totally new to me shops, shops I haven't ordered from in months and some old favorites. So really excited, I'm gonna dive right in. Oh, as always, if you only want to watch certain shops or you want to skip over parts, I do leave timestamp links in the description in case you want to jump ahead. And so first up, we have GP Sticker Studio. And I had not ordered from Gabby in a while. I actually purchased a couple of her kits a few months ago. I have definitely been hoarding them and have yet to use them. But I do have a few of her icon sheets, which I love, and I really like the feel of her paper. And she had a few kits that I was like, okay, I need to order those. She is an Australian shop, so shipping does take a little bit longer. So if you want anything seasonal, I would order it soon. But she has crazy fast processing time, like stuff ships within like a few days, but it just takes a little bit of time once it gets going. But um, it's, you know, I, her prices are super reasonable. So I think it still is definitely worth it to order from her. Anyway, uh, this is her freebie sampler she also tells you a little bit about what uh pens to use on her paper because she does have like a matte vinyl uh repositionable matte vinyl paper and so she recommends a few specific pens and this freebie sampler is super cute and then right on top i did order another one of this sheet that i really liked from her uh, it is her little youtube clapper sheet and i've been getting a decent amount of use out of this and i just personally really like it obviously because i do youtube and i kind of like that it encompasses the general concept of youtube and i can use it for like filming and editing and doing comments and all the random stuff that like i kind of do to make these videos so picked up an extra one of those and then I picked up this kit from her. I honestly do not remember the name at all. Let me find the full boxes to kind of show you guys the theme. So here is the theme of the kit. And it's kind of this like fall glam kit and it has like the plaids and the Chanel and the pumpkins and the gold glitter. And I will tell you that I am not like a super fan of the like blogger glam thing like I don't like I don't know I don't really need kits that have like Chanel bottles and is that Gucci I don't even know I'm like way too uncool to know but I loved the flannel in this kit and the leopard and the gold glitter something about it just totally spoke to me I just thought it was a lot of fun um and I really have been wanting to buy one of her kits and use in the fall because I want to try and use one of her kits in a plan with me squared video so be on the look for that that will definitely be coming up I think she has such big ultimate kits that it could really uh, work well for that. So anyway, that'll be coming up. Let me show you the kit though. So here are the full boxes. Then we have this functional sheet with uh, with heart eight heart checklists, little list, a weekly list, habit trackers, appointment labels, and some little icons and flags. Then we have headers and she has to do today and then a set of gold glitter headers, which I think is very cool. And then uh, some cute quarter labels and then functional deco and regular icons. I like that her icons are kind of like some of them have colors in them. I think that's kind of fun. And I like her functional deco a lot and the little flags. And then she gives a ton of half boxes, which I love. These are upside down. Um, and I like that she brings in some of the patterns and some of the clip art. I think that's really cute. And then washi. I love that she does some like extra like gold glitter, like a thin strip, and then the uh, leopard print, and then some of the printed uh, washi to match the full boxes. And then here, uh, she does have the odds and ends headers here, and then she has all the little things and a lot of different sidebar headers. Then you get your ombre heart checklist. And then this sheet has deco, and then two sets of weekly headers so like i said this is a giant kit and i think it's like 20 bucks us dollars like it's super affordable for how many sheets you get and her quality is really nice the first time i ordered from her i did note that she had like recently changed her printers but i had gotten the batch before she changed her printers and it was like a little fuzzy but i'm not seeing any of that fuzziness now i think it looks a lot crisper so very excited to try this out be on the look this will definitely be coming hopefully before Thanksgiving. So be on the look for that. 
And then the second kit I picked up, which you may have already seen if you follow my channel, is a November monthly kit. And I am 100% being a bad YouTuber here. I am definitely going to post the monthly video before you guys see this haul. This came like, this order came like the day after I filmed my last haul. So I've been holding on to it for a little while. So I'm going to, uh, I'm kind of pre-filming this and I'll include it in the next haul, but I'm going to do a monthly kit with this because yeah, I want to use it. So anyway, I'll link that video below, but here's her monthly kit. You can see all my thoughts on it in my monthly kit Smackdown. I thought this was a beautiful kit, really functional, and I'm really excited to try it. Obviously I haven't planned with it yet. It is a three page kit but a lot of functional stuff here. So very exciting there. And so that is GP Sticker Studio. Next up, we have a bunch of Scribble Prints Co. stickers. I will start with one of these was a pre-order from several weeks ago. You guys know I'm kind of anti-pre-order, but if a kit is really special, I will do it. And for me, this kit totally fell under that lens. I just thought this was stunning. It reminded me a lot of the Scribble Prince Co. Darkest Night that she released this, or maybe in the spring, but I used it over the summer and I loved it. It made me so happy. And this is like the kind of Christmas version of that. And I love this. So let's jump right in. Here is the old uh, freebie sampler that comes with the kit. She now has the little Once More With Love munchkins on them, but this has um, all of that. And the glitter headers came with it included because it is a pre-sale. You guys know I'm not normally like super glitter header, but I think with this kit it'll look really nice. So I probably will use those. Next up is this functional sheet where we have some deco at the top, the kind of faux foil weekend banner, little list, checklists, date dots, and time dots. And like I said, this is her old format. So I think her newer format now has an extra sheet, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't gotten any of those kits yet though. Anyway, we have headers and little things. The half boxes, quarter boxes, labels, habits, all sorts of goodies. I sort of wish she had done all of the half boxes in gold, but I will get over it. Uh, these beautiful weekly side or sidebar stickers that have kind of the print in the background that looks so beautiful. The date covers, the uh, flags and teardrops, bill dues and icons. These stunning ombre heart checklists with the scene in the background. I think these look amazing and it's gonna look so cohesive and nice. Then we have the full uh, full boxes here and it says all is calm, all is bright. And I think the name of the kit was all is calm. Um, I love these, these are stunning. I really like how she did this. And I kind of like that it doesn't have to be like a create a scene. Like I know Glam Planner and maybe some other shops too did it so it kind of all melds into one. You can still use these like regular full boxes if you don't wanna do a no white space spread. I am leaning towards no white space for this kit. Let me know what you guys think below. I did a no white space with the, uh, what did I call it? With that starry night one, I forget what it was called, but the starry night one that I did this summer, I did a no white space one with that and I thought it looked really cool. So I might do it again, but we'll see. And then we have the washi and it's glossy washi, which I love and I love how these kind of like, like go into each other. And then we have the printed washi in plain. So this is a beautiful kit. I may save this until the new year to use because it definitely is Christmassy. It says all is calm, all is bright, but, and there is a Christmas tree full box, but it could just be kind of magical winter themed. I just have so many Christmas kits and I'm not sure I can do this one in my main planner until January and I really, want to do this in my main planner. So I might hold on to this till then, but we will see. Oh, and it was called Common Bright, duh. And next up, I have a few other kits from Scribble Prince Co. For, that are Christmas themed. I think looking back, I should have just gotten one or the other of these two kits, but I couldn't decide at the time and I had missed some of the stuff. So I was kind of like, I'd already missed like one of the things I had wanted to get. So I ended up kind of like panic ordering and in retrospect, I don't think I would have gotten both because they're kind of similar, but, but I did and I'll probably find a way to use them. They just both won't be in my main planner. This is the freebie that came with it. I like the Christmas theme, very nice. 
And so this is the retro Christmas mini kit. And here we do have the newer freebie sampler. And so this does have the little munchkins on the bottom, which are so cute and uh, has like the planner and stuff, very nice. And then this sheet is for the mini kit and you get the sidebar stuff with the habit trackers and the weekly list, little lists, some regular heart checklists, mini icons, flags, and weekend banner. Then we have some random headers, some little things, half, quarter, and appointment boxes. Then we have the full boxes and this is totally why I got this kit and this comes from such a place of nostalgia. These full boxes remind me so much of a wrapping paper that my mom used growing up. It, I think it was like seriously almost this exact clip art and it reminds me so much of that. And I'm like, I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh. And I just, I felt like I had to have this. Um, and so that's why I, I got it. But I wanted it just in the mini kit because I think it would look really cute in like a white space spread. So I either might use this as a memory keeping spread or some sort of white space spread, we'll see. And then I love the bottom washi with the little trees. I thought that was so cute. I did pick up to go with it the glitter sampler. And again, in retrospect, I'm not sure this was the best fit. I don't feel like this is a kit that glitter goes well with, if that makes sense, because it's kind of retro. I don't feel like glitter is the perfect fit, but I did want to get it because it could cover up the headers if I did want to do this in my main planner. I really couldn't decide. So I did pick up the glitter. This was probably one that I did not need to order except for the nostalgia factor, but that is okay. And then, so here's the one that I probably should have just picked one or the other. This one is the Candy Cane Ultimate Kit. I really do like uh, traditional Christmas kits. I know there were some really cool non-traditional kits that Scribble Prints and other shops did, but and I got a few of those, but I am still like a traditional Christmas color kind of girl. And this kit in particular spoke to me, which you will probably see why shortly. So here again is the freebie sampler, and this one is the ultimate kit, so I have a lot here. First up, we have this sheet that has the deco with this really big girl, which is really pretty. The Weekend Manor, Little List, Heart Checklist, Time Dots, Date Dots. Then we have our headers and little things. I love this maroon color. Then the uh, weekly ombres. I love these date covers with the candy cane stripes, uh, flags, icons, all of that. Then we have our half boxes, quarter boxes, appointment labels, all that jazz. The ombre heart checklist. Then the full boxes, and I totally got this kit. I'm not gonna lie. Number one, I do like how traditional Christmas it is. I could see myself using this Christmas week. And number two, I love that it had holly in the full boxes. I am a total narcissist. I've said it before, but I love when things have holly on them, at least stickers. Like I don't get stuff for my home or anything that has holly on it, or like, and I don't wear like holly clothes, but I just think it's so cute and it just makes me very happy. And then I, the washi has this awesome candy cane stripe at the bottom. So I think this was one had it been released later in the season, I might not have bought it because I already, like, it was kind of early and I hadn't seen a lot of other Christmas kits yet, but I like it. I'm still excited to use it. And then the final thing from Scribble Prince Co., these were all a bunch of different orders, by the way. This is her New Year's kit. And first up, it came with another freebie. This one is in the November colors. And I got this one in the mini kit. And so right on top, you see a box. She had a quote box that said Pop Fizz click instead of clink and I think a lot of people gave her a hard time and she was like I bought it saying click but then she just made an extra full box for everybody which was very nice of her good customer service and then the little freebie again I love the planner with the little like beads in the background that's so cute and the munchkins from once more with love and then this kit, she said this is supposed to look like JLo, and I think that's so fun. Um, and I just love this for New Year's Eve. I thought it was very chic, but very festive. And I think I'm either going to use this, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this New Year's Eve week or New Year's week, but I really like this kit. I think it's so, cause those are two different weeks this year, which is so weird. But, um, so you kind of get to a chance to do like two New Year's kits if you want. And I think this one's really pretty. I love the clock. And then uh, this is, again, the mini kit. So you get all of this sidebar stuff, flags, weekend icons, little lists, heart checklists. 
the little things, headers, half, quarter, appointment boxes, and then the super simple and pretty bottom washi and regular washi. And then to go with this kit, because it is a New Year's kit, I did pick up the glitter sampler to go with this. I think it makes a lot more sense for this kit than that other one. And this has the glitter headers, has appointment labels, flags, and quarter boxes. So I got this so that I could stretch the mini kit into like a full weekly spread. And I think that'll be perfect for that. And that is it from Scribble Prints Co. Next up we have a shop I have not ordered from in a while. It is Thumbprints Co. And I got two different kits. First up we have her little freebie and it's kind of a Christmas colored glitter. And it has some cute little labels like that say adulting, buy all the things, and then some themed ones for her shop. And then this was a $2 Tuesday exclusive that she had done that is a Thanksgiving kit. And I was totally not gonna get this because I think I had enough Thanksgiving kits, but I ordered it and I'm really excited about it because it was $2 a sheet. So I got a beautiful three page kit for $6. And I was like, okay, I have to try this. This is also her mini kit format, which I haven't used. Uh, and she had just recently reformatted it. So I really wanted to try that as well. Thumbprints Co. has a beautiful premium matte paper. It's one of those really, really buttery smooth mattes where the colors are not grainy at all and it's super saturated, really nice. I have Donna Plan With Me with her stickers on my channel, but it was a while ago. I'll try to remember to link it below. I feel like she doesn't get a ton of attention in the planning community. And I don't, and I don't know if it's because she has her own website and she's not on Etsy or maybe because she has matte stickers and not glossy. I don't know, but she does all, all her own clip art. She designs all these herself. And I think she has really fun and functional and uh, designs. And I've already placed like another order with her after this one because I've been really liking her stuff. So lately, especially for her holiday stuff. So anyway, you should check her out. And let me show you this $2 Tuesday kit. She does do $2 Tuesday kits a lot. And I think she's gonna have some of them up on Black Friday. Don't hold me to that, but so definitely check her out if you haven't. And so this has your heart checklist. You get a full box, some mini icons, some little kind of, oh, maybe one fifth boxes, not quite as big as a quarter box, but little skinny boxes there, little list, um, the quarter boxes, and then you get your functional deco. I love this. You have your bill dues, some flags. I love, you know me. I love that she has two kettlebells really cute laundry stuff, some TVs, plan to plan, love that. Cheers to the weekend, that's so cute. So that's that sheet. And then here you get six more full boxes and then you get all headers for the entire week. And she calls her little things tidbits. You get some sidebar ones and some quarter boxes. And then here you get a bunch of half boxes some little checklists, a sidebar, a weekly list, some habit trackers, some little things, and you do get a full seven little things even, or sorry, full seven uh, meal stickers for your little things. And so you get a lot here. The only thing that's probably missing that I think some people will want is a eighth full box that you could use in the top corner. I would think that's the only thing that would be missing to make this like a mini kit you could do an entire week with. Uh, but I'm definitely excited to try this out. I think it would be great if you're like a white space planner and, uh, but you still get all your headers here. I think this is a really, really nice format. So definitely gonna try that out. And then next up, I got a full kit of hers. And this is her Mary kit. And I just loved this. I saw this and I was like, oh, I need this. I just thought this was so festive and fun. I have way too many Christmas kit guides. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But right on top, she has a freebie that coordinates with the kit, which I love, that has a few extra deco pieces and then some stuff for her shop. And then her full kits are super reasonably priced, you know, even when they're not $2 Tuesday kits. They are like $20 US, so I think that's a really good price for how much you get here. So I'll go ahead and show you. You have your a bunch of half boxes and some quarter boxes, and she does kind of a mix of little half boxes. You could put a check there, or you can just cover that with an icon. And then we have this sheet that has two weekly lists, two full boxes, mini icons, habit tracker, bill due. And then you get um, some mini checklists, and then you get a bunch of this functional deco again, which I just think she does 
perfectly. I love all of this. You get your kettlebells, date night, TVs, adorable coffee, two coffee cups, which is good for me and a lot of other people. The weekend manor is so nicely designed. And then you get your full boxes here. So you do have a full eight in the full kit. And then you have your headers. Again, she calls the little things t tidbits, but you get a full week's worth there, a bunch of uh, sidebar stickers and some more quarter boxes. And then she has these really cute heart checklists that are the full box and she does the prints to match the full boxes kind of muted out in the background, which I think is really nice. You get nine of those, some quarter boxes and some little lists. And then you get your bottom washi, which is so cute with these gingerbread, some more quarter boxes and you get regular washi strips and some more of these little heart checklists. And then finally you have your date covers, which I just love these. I love the font she uses. I think it's really geometric and cool. And you have your numbers here and then you get a ton of little things, pretty much everything you could possibly want in terms of little things. So I'm very excited to use this. Like I said, God knows when I'm gonna use all these kits, but I am loving um, the Christmas kits and excited to kind of have rediscovered Thumbprints Co. Next up, we have a shop that I also really enjoy. This is Shop Jessica Hearts. Thank goodness this is definitely more of a winter kit than a Christmas kit, so I can save this till after Christmas and use this in January, and I'm really excited about that. So. Uh, Shop Jessica Hearts, if you do want to buy her stickers, I would really recommend that you follow her on Instagram. She is basically doing like one kit release a week and she tends to sell out pretty fast. So definitely keep up with her on social media if you're interested in getting your hands on her kits. I know people have been like, oh, I don't see them in her shop anymore. And they just sell out so fast that by the time I get these hauls up, that you they're not available anymore. But uh, let me show you what it is. And so I got this kit in glossy and it comes right on top with a little freebie sampler that coordinates with the kit, which I love that she's doing that now. I think that's a great way, especially since she's only releasing one kit a week um, to get a little bit extra functionality here. And you have a half box and two little appointment labels. And then here I did pick up the glitter headers that went with this kit. I I'm kind of, I always say this, but I'm kind of not really team glitter header, but I don't know. She's pulling a lot of glitter into her kits lately. So I thought this might be fun to try. I just love these colors and her glitter headers are super affordable. It's like $2 for the sheet of glossy ones. So I decided to try them. Um, I'll probably use them with this kit. Even if I don't use them with this kit, I think they're really uh, versatile colors, especially these three. And I could use them with another kit, but um, I just thought these were really pretty. I just love the colors for this kit. So I wanted to get that. And now onto the regular kit. This is the Winter's Dream kit. I got the full kit with the six sheets. So what we have here are the half boxes, the regular headers, and the Hello Weekend banner. Very cute. And then the regular heart checklist, or the ombre heart checklist, not regular. And then her little things, her flags, appointment labels, little, um, chunky boxes and some deco stars and icons. Then we have the washi sheet. I love this bottom washi. And full disclosure, I do have a kit from another shop that has this clip art and I have not used that kit, but I think I'm gonna sell that kit because I'm just not that into the particular style of that um, shops. Like I just, I, I was looking back at the kit and I just really, it's not really how I plan. And it's also, I just don't love the style of it. So I think I'm going to hang on to this one and sell that one because I don't really want to do two weeks of the same kit, but we will see. And then uh, the full boxes, I love this. The woods were made uh, for, wait, what does this say? The woods were made for hunters of dreams. Very cute. And then you have the marble with kind of the glitter mixed in. And then we have this extra sheet that has your sidebar, weekly list, some headers, little lists, flags, functional deco, and date covers. I love her date covers. And an extra habit tracker there. So very much like this kit. I think it's so beautiful. I love how muted it is in a good way. I think sometimes muted sounds negative, but whenever I use it, I mean it positively. Uh, it's really subtle and I think it's gonna look beautiful in January when things are a little bit more quiet and I don't know, introspective. I think this is a really nice kit. So excited to use that. 
Next we have a totally new to me shop. This is Jameson Reed Designs. So I have been stalking the shop on Instagram for a month or two now. I saw she had a mystery box that she had hand drawn herself and I was obsessed with it, but I like missed it when it was released. It sold out in like five minutes and I like totally forgot it was being released. So I didn't get that. So I've been kind of following her shop ever since to see like, okay, what are her restocks? Like, what do I want to do? Um, she does a lot of her own design. She does use some clip art, but a lot of these girls that you'll see, she draws herself. And I think that's awesome. And yeah, I was excited to check out this new shop. So I didn't order that much because I don't like to, when it's like a brand new shop, I don't like to go too crazy, but I will show you what I got. So first up is the little freebie sampler you get. I love this little girl holding the tree, so cute. You get this weekend banner, this beautiful laundry sticker, a little drinks, and then a present and a call. I'm obsessed with those. And then let me show you, I got a couple of individual sheets and then I got stuff that coordinates with a kit. So for the individual sheets, first up I picked up these Me Time stickers. I freaking love these so much can you guys see this let me make sure it's focusing this is a little me time sticker that has like a little diptyque candle and a little uh pink little towels rolled up and then it says me time i love these stickers so much i think they're so pretty i think they're so like you know, it could be for a bath. It could just be for doing a face mask. I really like that it's kind of ambiguous like that. I just love those. I think those are so beautiful. So I picked those up. And then I picked up this icon sampler sheet that actually went with a kit of hers that was birthday, birthday themed. But my birthday's not till July, so I'm trying to be good and not buy any birthday kits. But I loved the icons on here and they're such a good variety that I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this. She has some more me times, but in a different color. She has these super cute, fancy laundry uh, ones with a fancy dress. She has some cute little pink phones, some groceries, payday, a celebrate, many time, really pretty weekend manner and a drinks. Um, I just really, really liked these. And then I picked up some a la carte sheets of a planner girl kit from her. She does sell her kits either collectively or a la carte. I got some just some a la carte sheets because I wasn't sure. I think I'm going to do this in more of a white space or plan as I go style. So I just picked up some of that. And so I did get the icon sheet that coordinated with this kit. And it's pretty similar to the other one. You get some extra laundry ones, some calls, the Manny time, the weekend banner. But I just really like both of them. So I got both of them. <laughs> um, I think these are so cute. And then here we have the deco sheet and it is so amazing. She hand draws these herself. It has these little washies, little planner, the typewriter. I love this little cat. It's so random, but I love it. Um, this little camera that looks a lot like Bloomsicle camera. So maybe she pulls in some clip art, but what is probably not going to show up on camera is that there is a very subtle glitter on the it's, it's never going to show up, but on the coffee and on the two skirts there, it's not like a glitter that's going to um, get all over everything, but it's like the tiniest shimmer. I have no idea how she does it. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. It's so, so pretty in real life. I really hope you guys can see any of that. Probably not. It's so, so subtle. It's not like a true foil. It's just like a really nice sheen. I don't know how else to describe it. Maybe on the coffee you can see it. It's really pretty, so love that. Next up we have the heart checklist. I just loved how these were um, like the patterns and then muted out in the background. I think this is so pretty. Then we have the full boxes. And here you can see she brought in more of this clip art. So you have the planner girl, slay the day, and then this girl that she draws. So yeah, so I think these are clip art because I've seen other shops use these particular flowers. And then she draws the girls, which I think is awesome. So um, I love these quote boxes, so cute. And then this is her half box sheet. So you get six half boxes, four quarter boxes, and then some uh, six of these little uh, heart checklists. And then I picked up this kind of random functional sheet. You have your some more quarter boxes, little hearts, a little kind of appointment box, weekly sidebar, a hydrate, some little checklists, and then some washi strips. So 
I, like I said, I think I will do this more of a white space style plan with me just so the um, deco can really stand out and you probably won't see this kit until the new year if we're being perfectly honest because it's all Christmas all the time after Thanksgiving, but I just love this and I think this is a really nice shop. So just in terms, because I do like to talk about kind of pricing and quality when I'm buying from a new shop, she has a mat. It is, I would not call it a premium mat. I would call it a basic mat, but I do think her printing is nice and her cuts are nice. And uh, you know, it's definitely just, I think a pretty standard mat paper. And her pricing I think is, I think it's very standard for matte stickers. So most of her bigger sheets are $4. This one with the extra glitter on it was $5. And then the smaller sheets are $3.50, maybe a little on the higher side, but um, I think it, they're worth it because I think these are stunning. And she pro she definitely has uh, coupon codes on her Instagram and she has a Facebook group if you guys want to join that as well. And then finally, I have an order from Little Miss Papery, one of my favorite shops, as you guys know. Right on top, we have a freebie sampler that coordinates with a kit. I believe she's releasing on Black Friday. It is on Glossy, and um, I think this kit's called Frozen. Oh yeah, Frozen, new kit sneak, duh. Um, so that's cute. I always hang on to those in case I buy the actual kit. And then uh, right on top, I picked up some of her date night stickers because I don't have any of these and I love Little Miss Papery script icons. I think these are beautiful, so I will definitely be using those. And then I picked up some different kits. So first up we have her peppermint kit. And if you watched my, I believe it was my last Etsy sticker haul, there was basically a whole thing where Brittany had mixed something up and then she sent me some extras to make up for it. And so I already kind of have a version of this peppermint kit. I think I'm gonna pass off the other one to a friend of mine, but the uh, I will just show you this one quickly. So I did get the personal kit and I got it in matte because I like the matte for working in this so much crafting inserts a little better. And the personal kit comes with these date covers. And then you get this two page personal kit, which has the washi down the middle, some quarter boxes, some icons, uh, little TVs and laptops, weekend banner, functional deco, some little lists, half boxes and washi and habit trackers. And then just to add on to that, I also picked up the horizontal full boxes and I like these for a personal spread because they are shorter. And so they fit in the so much crafting inserts and you can still have space to do stuff around them. And then I also like them because they come with a bunch of these quarter boxes at the bottom. So I think that's super functional. And I love these full boxes. I think this is so cute. This could totally wait till January. And so I might do that. Um, although because it's a personal kit, I don't have as many personal kits for Christmas time. So I could, I might use this before Christmas, but I love the, I love you a latte. I think this is just such a fun kit. So excited about that. And then I also picked up a uh, what her kit, another kit in matte. This was her, I think she's calling it her Black Friday kit. And I picked up this one I did, I'm also intending to use it in the personal, but instead of getting the actual personal kit, I just got the two page kit this time. I, I kind of alternate what I like to use from Little Miss Papery in my personal planner. Um, sometimes I like the personal kit, sometimes I like these. Uh, I've even, I think I have planned to try a horizontal at one point. She just, because she sells everything a la carte, you can kind of mix and match to make your perfect kit, which I love. So here, this is the two page vertical kit. You get these half boxes, icons, heart checklists, functional deco, love the me time sticker. So perfect. And then you have up here your weekend banner, hello, washi strips. And I can use these like um, plain ones is like uh, matte write on labels, which is nice. Extra headers or headers, a weekly list, a let's go shopping, which I think is so cute. That's why she called this the Black Friday kit and I think because there's black in it, um, and some little quarter boxes, some deco uh, flags and functional stuff. So that's the two page kit. And then to go with that, I did also pick up the horizontal full boxes again. Again, just, I really like that size for the personal planner. And this one I definitely will be using in my personal planner before Christmas. I love this online shopping, no pants, no makeup, no problem. That is my life. And, um, I think this is really fun for like a week that's like gonna be really gift purchasing intensive. And then we have the quarter boxes down there. So love this kit, love Little Miss Papery as always. I think she just has such a unique style. 
And then finally, really excited about this. This is her first uh, time doing a monthly kit. So I had to pick that up. You guys know you'll see it in a monthly kit smackdown. I will absolutely be testing this out. Very um, different format, I think. So I'm excited to try it out. Not really different, they're all pretty similar, but uh, this is her, I got it on glossy paper and it's her December monthly kit. She had a few different designs. I got this kind of festive, Christmas, but without being red green. Um, I just thought this was something different. So it has your uh, month cover up there, icons, a movie marquee and balloons, and some little headers. And then she gives you some date covers, some asterisks, some little payday things, plain circle icons, a bunch of bill dues, uh, holidays and event stickers and uh, half boxes. And then you get uh, covers for days that are not in the month, date covers, vacation strips, little lists, and some flags. So definitely a little bit different on the format. So I'll have to think about how I want to actually use this, but subscribe definitely if you want to see me use that in December to check that out. Okay guys, so another Etsy sticker haul in the books. So excited to use all of these kits, whether it's for Christmas or in January and after. I think I got a lot of great stuff. Excited to try out some new shops or shops I hadn't bought from for a, in a while. And of course, old favorites. So do give this video a thumbs up if you like Etsy sticker hauls so I can know to keep them coming. And go ahead and subscribe to stay tuned to see me use these kits in plan, upcoming plan with me. So thank you guys for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.